Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Very good morning to everybody. So today is the 12th of April and we are on a very special session today with our um, penerima uh, ACUM, Anugerah Cemerlang University Malaya 2022. So Dr. Hazli is our winner for the science category, uh, best lecturer, eh, best teaching award. Ah, okay. okay, so um, Dr. Hazli is from Engineering, Faculty of Engineering, uh, representing the sciences. So we want, we are all here to learn from you, Dr. Hazli, um, what makes a good uh, teaching for the benefit of our students, of course. So um, in this holy month of Ramadan, let's all um, get some advice, some insights, be inspired by Dr. Hazli. Um, the floor is yours, Dr. Hazli. Sila kan, to introduce yourself. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Azhar. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning everyone. Okay, so before I proceed, uh, let me share my uh, slide. Okay, so I hope uh, it's visible. Okay, so uh, my name is uh, Azli Azli Ilyas. Okay, um, so one of the uh, recipient of uh, 2022 uh, UM Excellence uh, Award, okay, uh, in the category of excellent uh, teaching, okay, for the science uh, category. So I'm from uh, Department of Electrical Engineering, uh, Faculty of Engineering. Uh, uh, okay, so um, I, I'm not sure whether um, is there any any of you who are uh, not from uh, science background. Okay, so although it's not, although some of you might not be from a science background, um, uh, maybe some of the uh, what I'll, I'll be sharing might be applicable, uh, or and you can uh, take it as a practice. Okay, so um, all right. So um, when when I look at the email, okay, um, when after submitting the application and then waiting for uh, I think two or three months after submission um, and when I receive an email okay, from UM about uh, this UM excellent uh, teaching uh, the results so I was uh, so surprised uh, and happy okay, to see um, that my name has been listed as one of the uh, recipients so uh, I would say this was not uh, this is the first time okay, that I won the uh, UM uh, Excellent Award uh, and I was very uh, excited um, to, to receive this uh, award. Okay, so um, the presentation outline, okay, so I hope um, can can cover within 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, I will briefly talk about uh, myself uh, and then uh, my teaching philosophy, uh, okay, what, uh, what, what I have done okay um, during uh, my uh, teaching okay and then uh, i would also like to share my uh, education experience for this uh, un excellent uh, work okay and also and at the end we'll have a q a uh, session okay so um briefly about me okay um so before i talk about my that's yeah. sorry is there yeah. a um, we are hearing like white noise behind you. Is that a something like a fan or anything that? Uh, white is noise. On? No. Uh, we're hearing a just... Ah, yes. Now it's is gone. The F one. Uh, no, is it better? Yes. Now it's better. <laughs> now it's better. Now it's better. Oh, okay, sorry, okay. To <laughs> sorry to interrupt. Sorry to okay, interrupt. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks, Dr. Saza, for, for Thank mentioning. You. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think it's an icon. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's an icon, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. Thank okay. you. Please proceed. Okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. We look no, forward no to hearing that, your we look forward to hearing your teaching philosophy and oh, uh, right. about, about yourself. Yes. Please please okay. continue. Thank you. Yeah, th th thanks for let, 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 letting me know. Okay, otherwise we'll be listening only noise instead of my uh, voice. Okay. Um so uh, before I share okay about my working experience at UM, okay, so this is a brief um, introduction about myself. Okay, so I uh, took my degree in UM, okay, in uh, graduated in two thousand six. 
and then I joined uh, FreeScale Semiconductor uh, as a product engineer okay, uh, for one and a half years. And then I continued my uh, PhD at University of Southampton, uh, UK. Okay, and then uh, since 2011, um, I was a senior lecturer at UM and promoted to uh, associate professor in July uh, 2016. Okay, and these are some of my industrial experience. So I had, uh, I, I did some attachment with um, industrial, uh, with uh, KB electric, and then uh, I did my um, sabbatical at TMB research. And currently I am under the uh, CEO at faculty, a program uh, with Keysight Technologies uh, Malaysia. Okay, so some of my uh, quick, uh, uh, quick uh, bio. Okay, so um, I've already completed, uh, super, completely supervised 11 PhD students, uh, five uh, master by research uh, student, and 27 master by uh, coursework. Okay, and I've published uh, more than 70 uh, general papers in Web of Science Index and more than 70 conference papers, reviewed conference papers. So currently, um, I'm supervising seven PhD students and three advanced science students. Uh, so I've received uh, up to um, three million of research grant thanks to high impact research uh, grant okay, that I received a um, few years ago. Okay, so in terms of uh, teaching experience, so I've been uh, teaching at UM for uh, 12 years. Um, so most of my uh, courses that I've been uh, teaching are uh, engineering uh, course are related to engineering uh, or technology. Uh, I, I, I did taught um, communication, uh, th thinking and communication skills uh, course before, okay, but uh, I found that um, I was not really uh, enjoyed t teaching uh, th that course uh, because I prefer to teach uh, engineering and technology course. And in fact, I feel that uh, I'm more confident uh, in uh, teaching uh, engineering and uh, technology uh, course. Okay. Okay. So some of my professional uh, membership. Okay. So I'm the um, professional engineer under board of engineers in Malaysia, corporate member of uh, institution of engineers in Malaysia, uh, charter engineer of uh, institution of engineering and technology IET. So this is international uh, body, and institution of electrical and electronics uh, engineers. Okay. So this is also an international uh, membership. Okay, so before I uh, talk about my um, teaching philosophy, okay, I uh, just want to show, uh, to tell about my leadership experience. Okay, uh, so the reason why I'm showing this is um, actually I found that um, having some leadership experience uh, instead of teaching uh, and research and also other admin works, uh, it helps me in building my confidence uh, in communicating with uh, students and uh, with students, colleagues, and other um, people outside of uh, UM. So it actually helps, helps me in delivering the, uh, my lecture uh, more effective and uh, with a more confident. So um, since 2012, okay, I'm currently the head of University of Malaya High Voltage Lab and Research Group, uh, currently the uh, undergraduate laboratory coordinators, coordinator. So uh, I guess this is the longest serving uh, lab coordinator at the department. Okay, more than 10 years. Okay, uh, program coordinator. So I was the head of the Department of Electrical Engineering uh, in 2013 to 2014. Currently the counselor of ITP University Malaya student branch. Uh, quality manager okay, at the Faculty of Engineering uh, today. Uh, I was a vice chair and currently the chair of ITP Dielectrics and Electrical Installation. Society uh, Malaysia uh, chapter. Okay, so now come to the uh, the main part, uh, uh, the teach, uh, teaching philosophy. Okay, so I will share my uh, teaching philosophy, um, and after that, uh, I will briefly uh, share my experience about um, applying uh, UM Excellent Award. Okay, so uh, about my teaching philosophy, uh, it, it, it's all about. Uh, what I've been doing okay, for the, while teaching uh, the student. Uh, okay, so there's nothing, there, there's no right or wrong. Okay, so uh, I'm not saying that 
uh, what I've been doing is right, okay, what uh, others is doing is wrong. Uh, it, it's about, it's just about um, sharing, okay, what I've been doing. Uh, because I believe that everyone has uh, his or her own uh, teaching philosophy. Um, so similar like uh, me. Okay. So um, again, so although um, I'm uh, from the science or engineering uh, background, okay, so I hope that uh, some of the practice okay, uh, can be uh, applied by those who are not from uh, engineering or science. Okay, so I will break uh, my teaching philosophy uh, for, for better explanation okay, in terms of uh, relationship with students, uh, complying with a requirement, uh, my teaching style, and uh, innovation in teaching. Okay, so uh, uh, I, I'm going to share uh, at the end innovation in teaching because that has actually uh, brought me to uh, winning this uh, award. Okay, because uh, this award, they would like to see either we have uh, innovation or creativity okay, in our uh, teaching. Okay, so I will start off with a uh, relationship with uh, students. Uh, how do I handle a student and how I uh, deal uh, with a student? Okay, so um, my uh, philosophy with, with students, uh, teaching philosophy with students, uh, um, I never scold them. So although when they make noise in the class, uh, there's a way to handle them, there's a way how to uh, make them keep quiet. Um, but I have never scold them, okay? Because uh, if I scold uh, the student, um, that will not give a um, good impression uh, to them. So I always be nice with them. Uh, always I treat them uh, nicely. Um, in fact, okay, when they request uh, for certain things, uh, I usually uh, I, I will take into consideration. Okay, for example, like um, assignment. Okay, so when they request for extension of a deadline for assignment. Uh, so I will consider them. I will co consider that, okay, like uh, one extend for another one week, okay, or another two weeks. Uh, so, uh, or, or of course, when I extend the uh, deadline, uh, it will be much closer to end of the semester. So I try to avoid of giving the assignment to students um, very late. Okay, so usually I give the assignment to student uh, in week six or week seven, okay, so that they have ample time. Uh, so if they need uh, extension. Okay, so I will uh, I, I will uh, consider. Okay, and give them extension. Well, it depends on the situation. And then I respond fast. Okay, to their uh, question. Okay, or uh, their uh, when they contacted me. Okay, either through uh, email. Okay, or WhatsApp. Okay, so I give a quick response. Okay, so except uh, during if they contact contact me during uh, weekend. Okay, so when they contact me during weekend or after uh, office hour, okay, so I will only respond uh, to them uh, during uh, office hour. Okay, so so I I don't respond to uh, the students uh, during um, out of office hour and also during uh, weekend or also during um, uh, during public holidays. So but but during um, office hour, okay, so I respond uh, them I respond. Uh, fast uh, to them. Okay, and then um, always give uh, them a smile. Okay, so while teaching, uh, I, I'm not, I, I don't show um, serious uh, face. Okay, so in fact, I give a pleasant uh, face, okay, give a smile, okay, so that the students will be uh, more, uh, will be more comfortable uh, with me. So uh, before I start my lecture, okay, so usually I, I don't start, start my lecture straight away. Okay, so not um, not like um, when I say summer can good morning. Okay, today we are going to uh, cover this. Okay, so I I don't start my lecture straight away. Okay, but usually I will tell them uh, some stories. Okay, stories uh, related to what has been happening uh, recently. Okay, or stories. Okay, that that is related to the course, the topics. Okay, that I'm going to teach uh, at, at, on on that day. Okay, so for example, like uh, last last semester, okay, so last semester we had uh, the the world uh, had a World Cup, okay, uh, football uh, World Cup, okay, so um, because uh, students, okay, students uh, love uh, World Cup, okay, e even including uh, girls, 
Okay, so um, so I started always started my lecture last semester with uh, football, okay, with World Cup. Okay, so that actually um, break the uh, barrier okay, between uh, me, myself, and the uh, student. Okay, so I'm also friendly with them. Okay, so friendly um, means uh, not, not just um, limit our the relationship with the student in the class, okay, but also out of the uh, classroom. Okay, um, for example, uh, when they, they, they uh, I open okay to the students to meet me uh, anytime, okay, uh, outside of the lecture if they need uh, if they want to discuss anything with me, uh, get my opinion or advice. Okay, I'm uh, open to that. Okay, so um, so whatever it is, um, I always um, treat my students uh, with uh, highest uh, priority. Because they, they are they are the uh, main uh, customer, um, so so my uh, okay d d d just to uh, share uh, with everyone. So my priority is usually I put uh, student number one, okay, and then number two my colleagues, okay, and then the last one uh, is the the, the 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 management, okay, the management uh, uh, people. Okay, then uh, next, my teaching philosophy is, okay, I always comply with requirement. Okay, so requirement means um, it's about the, um, the, the mainly, of course, uh, when we talk about teaching, it's the, our MQF uh, requirement. Okay, so I follow the teaching plan, okay, because the teaching plan, when I follow the te teaching plan, uh, I, I know what I'll be delivering and uh, the students also uh, know, okay, what they are going to expect in this uh, course. Okay, so um, for example, uh, like this. Okay, so this is one of the example of my uh, course. Okay, so usually at, at the beginning of the class, uh, uh, at the first class, okay, uh, of the semester. So I will show the topics, uh, the topics of the fourteen weeks. Okay, and then tie tie each of the topics with the course outcome. Okay, so that uh, the students will understand. Okay, so they have uh, every course has course outcome. Okay, so how these course outcomes are delivered, how these course outcome are are going to be uh, achieved. Okay, so when I show this, the topics. Okay, what are the topics related to each of the course outcome? So students uh, can uh, gain okay a better idea um, about. Uh, Every topic, okay, is serving for which course outcome, okay. So as so that at the end, okay, they will not be uh, they they will not be wondering, okay. For example, uh, explain electric energy conversion, okay. So which which topics are addressing this course outcome, okay. So when I show this, so students will be uh, will, will be very clear, okay. And also by having uh, these uh, topics and the Mapping between topic and course outcome, um, so there will be no topics that are not related to the course. Okay, so, so, so that means I know that uh, all of the topics are relevant uh, to the course. Okay, and students also know that what they have, that what they are going to learn, are uh, going to address the course uh, outcome. Okay, so there is a following teacher teaching plan, and then I come to class on time. Okay, so although I know that um, the students, okay, uh, some of the students will come late, uh, and I can only start uh, my class ten to fifteen minutes uh, from the original schedule. Uh, although I know that, okay, uh, I still come to the class on time. Okay, so let's say if the class is at ten o'clock, so I come uh, at ten o'clock. Okay, so the reason is um, because I want to observe uh, the students. How, how is the pattern of uh, the students coming to the class? Uh, so which students uh, usually comes late? Okay, and which student usually uh, come uh, early? Okay, so it's it's quite it's quite uh, quite interesting to see that. Okay, so because um, when some students uh, who come early, uh, usually those are good students. Those are top students. Okay, those who come slightly late. Okay, they are uh, quite uh, the average uh, student. Okay, and those who come late. Okay, after uh, maybe after fifteen to twenty minutes later. Okay, so those are those uh, students who are weaker uh, students. 
So uh, I, I love to see those uh, things. Okay, and then um, no late announcement. Okay, because um, students, okay, hate uh, late announcement. Okay, a at the end, they will blame. Okay, so let's say if there's a late announcement, okay, they will blame uh, me for giving a late announcement. Uh, for example, uh, postponing the class. Okay, uh, so if I need to postpone the class, okay, or uh, change the venue or uh, change of time, okay, so usually I tr always uh, avoid of giving a late uh, announcement. And then no last minute change, okay, so no last minute change. For example, um, we plan to have uh, the class okay, today and suddenly uh, change to uh, the other day, the, the, the other time. Okay, and then assessment based on the requirement. Okay, so I always um, assess based on the requirement. Okay, um, th th this is again based on the um, uh, based on the uh, MQF forms. Okay, so by following strictly uh, the requirement. Okay, so I can um, actually uh, do. I, I can actually give a better assessment or or a well. Uh, assessment that is relevant, okay. Because if if I'm not following the uh, requirement, um, then there will be uh, maybe some of my assessment will not be uh, relevant uh, to the to the cost or might might not be um, as assessing uh, the level the required level, okay. Um, for, for example, uh, or oh, no, not up to standard. Okay, I would say it's not up to a standard. Okay, so by following the MQF forms uh, uh, closely, okay, so that actually give me a guide okay, to give a better or uh, effective assessment. Okay, and the last one is implementing CQI action plan. Okay, so um, yes, uh, implementing CQI action plan, okay, it is, is based on the, um, at the end of the semester, we have to fill in what we call as a form seven. Okay, so usually, um, uh, like some of us, okay, so we uh, fill in what are our plan, okay, for next semester, okay, what 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 improvement need to be done, okay, but uh, maybe sometimes sometimes, okay, we don't really implement what uh, we have written in the form, okay, but uh, for me, okay, whatever I write in the CQI form, the uh, the form seven, okay the action plan for improvement in the next semester. Okay, so I will implement it. Okay, so for example, if a CO1 is not achieved, okay, or CO2 uh, is not achieved, okay, so I put the action plan, okay, um, maybe more examples should be given, okay, to, to that CO in order to improve the achievement. Okay, so I really do that. Okay, so I follow uh, what I've written in in the form in the CQI form uh, in the previous semester, okay. Because by following that, um, th then I'll be able to uh, th then I can see, okay, whether uh, am I have am I able to improve the uh, that CO achievement in next semester or not, okay. So I don't just write um, in the form, okay, but I also implement it, okay. All right. So next one, uh, okay. Before I sh share my teaching innovation, okay. Uh, these are my teaching style. Okay, so teaching my teaching style. Uh, I don't call it as method, okay, because teaching method uh, is different. Okay, teaching method is like uh, lecture, PBL, uh, flip. Uh, what is it? Those flip classroom. Those those, those things. Okay, so those are teaching method. Okay, but this is my teaching style, which I would say, uh, in other words, is my teaching uh, practice. Okay, so my lecture is um, is a conventional lecture. Okay, lecture every week. Uh, every week there's a lecture. Okay, but I vary uh, the delivery of my lecture. Okay, the, the, I vary the delivery method of my lecture. Okay, so not just uh, uh, showing the lecture notes. Okay, and then explain to the student. Okay, give lecture. Okay, but okay, I use different ways of delivering uh, my lecture okay so these are the some of what i've been uh, what i've been doing um, okay so uh, easy to understand lecture notes okay so because um, 
students. Okay, so they uh, when they read the lecture notes that are taken um, directly from the book. Okay, so they may not be able to understand. Okay, so usually uh, what I do is um, when I take uh, materials okay, from uh, from the book, okay, I modify it. Okay, modify and make it so that it can be understood easily by the students. Okay, especially for the long, uh, especially for calculation, calculation part. Okay, so calculation part. Okay, so I summarize, okay, uh, the method. Okay, so that the students can understand uh, e easier. Okay, and I would say that I'm quite fortunate to have a course uh, that is um, that is quite relevant to uh, that is quite close to the actual practice. Okay, to the actual uh, world. Okay, that that outside world is uh, doing. Okay, so because of that, um, I can vary my uh, teaching style. Okay, so I am quite fortunate uh, with that. <coughs> so um, I give a student a class exercise, and so quiz game. Okay, so the class exercise. Okay, I'm not just uh, giving the class exercise, uh, but also um, after I give a class exercise. Okay, I pick. I ask for any students okay, who volunteer to write down uh, the answer on, on the board okay, and then explain uh, to, the, to the class. Okay, so, um, so after they have done that, I give them a uh, star. Okay, so star, one star if, if they uh, volunteer themselves. Okay, another star if they write the um, solution on the whiteboard. Okay, another star if they uh, explain Okay, explain to, to the explain the solution to the class to to to, to, this, to the to their friend. So by having this, okay, so it's actually um, encourage them, okay, to do the class exercise, and uh, also encourage them to go up, go in front and uh, explain okay the solution uh, to the to, to 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 their friend. And so quiz games, okay, so quiz game also, um, so. Um, Quiz game is like a uh, okay, they play a quiz okay and has a point okay so at the end okay uh, after the student have answered all the question okay then uh, they can see who is a top okay who get number one number two number three okay so um, the students really enjoy uh, this game okay so I don't just give give a quiz uh, just for the um, just for assessment, okay, but also uh, to encourage them to participate, uh, to fight for uh, the top spot. Okay. And then provide examples, tutorial, okay, so this is a common, okay, so I provide um, a lot of examples and tutorial, okay, because by giving examples, a lot of examples and tutorial question, okay, so that can um, enhance their understanding and they can practice okay, to um, to solve the problems. Okay, so in my lecture notes, uh, it, during my lecture, okay, I also show a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, okay, and again because uh, I'm quite fortunate to have um, the course that is that are quite the course that is quite related to um, actual world. Okay, so there are many pictures uh, and videos okay, related to uh, the, the real world. Okay, for example, um, videos of renewable energy generation, uh, videos of um, power power generation. Okay, so there, there are a lot. Okay, so um, I show them a lot of pictures and videos. Okay, because students um, they cannot just uh, read a lecture notes. Okay, they they, they will feel. Uh, Boring, okay. So if they only look at um, notes, okay, the sentences, okay, by showing a lot of pictures and videos, uh, they they feel more enjoyable, okay, with my lecture. Okay, and then I relate the um, every topic, okay, to industry or real world, okay, because students will appreciate more, okay, um, uh, of what they are learning. Uh, they will appreciate more if um, they know uh, which, how they can apply in in the real world, or where can they find those uh, that have that, that they have learned in the real world. So, okay, so they will tend to more appreciate that. Okay, if they just look at the formula, 
uh, solve the uh, equation, okay, solve, solve, solve the uh, problem using formula. Okay, they will not be, they, they will not appreciate uh, so much, okay, because they don't know at the end, uh, they get the solution, they are able to solve the uh, problem, okay, using the formula given, but in the real world or industry, where can they apply those things? Okay, so uh, if they don't, if they, if they do not know uh, that, okay, they will not appreciate um, the knowledge that I've given uh, to them so much. Okay, so that's why every uh, topics okay, that I'm teaching, okay, so I relate to the industry or real world. Okay, so that they know when they go out uh, and working, uh, they know um, that they can apply. Okay, the knowledge that they have gained uh, from this uh, course, okay, from, from the course that I've taught them. Okay, I also shared uh, my industrial experience, okay, related industrial uh, experience um, to, to the students, okay, because students, okay, um, they, they like it so much, okay, when um, to, to see lecturers, their lecturers are having uh, industrial experience, related industrial experience, okay, and um, that give uh, an idea to them that uh, this course will be relevant to them in the future. Okay, so when they know that, uh, they will feel more appreciate about the course. Um, in fact, previously I received um, a feedback from student. They mentioned that some student they mentioned that they don't really care about the grade that they obtain. Uh, they, they they care more about the uh, knowledge that they gain. Okay, from the course that I've taught them. So I was quite pleased to hear that. Okay, uh, I, I was pleased to hear that, uh, meaning that th those students, they don't uh, see the course just for the exam, okay, but uh, for, the, for, for, for the knowledge in the future. Okay, and I also bring uh, students to the lab or site visit, okay, but I think the site visit we, we had, we, we last had a site visit before COVID, okay, after, site, after COVID, uh, we haven't uh, got any opportunity to go for a site visit yet. Okay, but usually I bring my students to the lab, okay, and show them, uh, demonstrate to, to, to the student um, what, what is related uh, to the topic that, that, that they have learned. Okay, by showing the demonstration in the lab, okay, that will enhance their understanding uh, much better. Okay, so not just, uh, I, I, I don't just um, give a lecture, Okay, explain, okay, uh, but also bring the students uh, and demonstrate in the lab. Okay, so, they, they, so that they can see uh, with their own eyes um, how, uh, how um, th those are, how what they have learned can be applied in the, in the real world. Okay, and again, I'm quite fortunate to have um, a course okay, that can that, that, that has a simulation software uh, for teaching. Okay, so I use a simulation software uh, to teach. So by using simulation software, um, it is it, it um, give a student okay, a better idea about uh, what they have learned uh, in the class. Okay, and in fact, students like it so much. Okay. Um, because when I, I bring them to the computer lab, okay, and the students have their hands on themselves. So they uh, try out the simulation, okay, and get the, um, the outcome, the output. Okay, so then they can relate to uh, what they have learned in the class. Okay, so these are uh, what I've been uh, practicing, okay, in my uh, teaching. Okay, so basically it's just a lecture, okay, every week, okay, uh, my, my class uh, is a lecture every week, okay, it's just that I vary the way of how I give, uh, of how I deliver my lecture. Okay, so example, so these are some of the uh, pictures, okay, uh, in the lecture notes, okay, that I uh, put, put in the lecture notes, okay, um, to give an idea for the students. Okay, and nowadays, uh, because there are so many, uh, the, the website okay, is a very, uh, there the, the, the are various okay, websites okay, and a lot of uh, pictures okay, that, uh, that we can download. Okay, so I put um, lecture notes, okay, examples. Okay, so this is um, also I share my industry experience with students 
okay uh, not just uh, telling them a uh, story okay but also share some pictures okay that i took during my industrial uh, experience okay so um, students okay, will be will, will feel more uh, interested okay with a with course okay so simulation software okay so what i have what i've mentioned uh, previously okay so um, when i when i gave the student uh, has on uh, experience with a simulation okay so they they feel they are more um, excited okay um, in, fa in fact they mentioned that um, the other course also should have uh, should, should give a student um, simulation exercise uh, in, in the class okay so that they can understand uh, better okay so uh, this is a uh, powerful software okay a software that is used to show the flow of power okay from generation uh, transmission and to the distribution to, to, to the load okay and this is um, another simulation software okay as comsol or, or we call it the final element uh, simulation okay which can be used to simulate uh, the real uh, real equipment okay in the world okay so uh, students okay so when they look at this okay the, the, the colors okay that that actually um, enhance their mood okay uh, to learn okay so i also bring uh, usually bring the students uh, to the lab okay so this is uh, the lab that i'm in charge of university malaya high voltage lab okay so uh, some of the equipments related equipments are available in this lab so uh, for some topics selected topics uh, which has which i can show the students uh, the real equipment in the lab so i'll bring them to the lab okay after i've i've uh, covered uh, the related topic okay so um, i demonstrate okay i demonstrate the um, what what they have learned in the class okay so demonstrate the uh, perform okay uh, that means i, I run the uh, experiment okay run run the equipment okay and let the student uh, see let the student observe okay in fact uh, the equipment that we have in the lab in this lab is also are also uh, being used by the industry outside there okay for example uh, this equipment okay um, is available it is used by tnb okay so this equipment okay, used by tnb okay and these are some of the item okay that uh, students will see uh, if they work with power companies okay so some photos um, taken okay after uh, the demonstration in the lab okay now uh, okay this is the last part for my teaching philosophy okay innovation in teaching uh, so my innovation is teaching uh, it's actually simple it's straightforward okay it's about animation okay in powerpoint okay what i mean by animation powerpoint uh, is not about uh, like a, like clicking uh, the mouse and then um sub this uh, text appears okay that text disappear okay no 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 not not that kind of animation okay but what um i'm referring to is the animation okay related to the topics okay the topics that they are learning that the students are learning in the class okay so in fact this animation uh, cannot be found in any uh, website okay in, 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 in any of the uh, on online resources okay for example okay actually i've created okay, a lot of animation okay but i'll just show some uh, simple animation that i've done um, in fact uh, the most complicated um uh, animation okay that i've done was uh which, which i took two hours actually to complete to to uh, make the animation okay um for example okay uh, the animation um okay be, 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 okay before that uh so this, this is the uh, common not normal uh notes okay normal lecture notes okay and last time okay before i created um, this animation okay so i draw on the whiteboard okay and then 
draw over here, over there, over here, put arrow, okay, in order to indicate the movement of, uh, to indicate the movement, okay, so on the whiteboard, I use arrow, okay, arrow over here, over there, okay, but um, uh, by using animation, I actually can control the movement of um, the, what, what is actually happening. Okay, so this is just a simple animation about uh, one of my uh, topics okay, in, the, in, in the lecture. Okay, so it's movement. So just utilizing uh, PowerPoint uh, animation. Okay, another example. Okay, so this is the, let's say if students look at this. Okay, um, they, they read, read, and then I explain. Okay, so this is the picture. Okay, the related picture. Okay, so it would be, it's quite difficult for students to, um, to imagine, okay, what is going on, okay. So uh, of course I can show this um, on the whiteboard, okay, by showing uh, the movement of electron, for example, moving, okay, moving from one point to another point with arrow, okay, and then after that, uh, draw another another item, show an arrow, okay, over there, over here, okay. So of of course I can do that, but that seems to be not really uh, attractive, okay, because uh, it's on the whiteboard. Okay, so instead, I created a simple animation to replicate this um, phenomena. Okay, for example, like this. Okay, so by showing this, the student will have, at least they have a um, better idea. Okay, they, they, they have a um, better idea about what is going on. Okay. Okay, again. So they... Uh, at least they have a better uh, idea. So although it may not replicate the actual uh, phenomena, okay, but at least it helps okay, in explaining what is going on. Okay, so these are some of my uh, simple animation. Okay, so like I mentioned just now, I have uh, more, uh, I have other some complicated, more complicated uh, animation. Okay, but, but here I'm just um, sharing some of the uh, animation. Okay, so, so another one. Um, again, so anything that involves movement, uh, I, I use animation in PowerPoint. Okay, so I utilize the uh, animation in a PowerPoint uh, to explain to the student, okay, uh, for anything that is uh, moving. Okay, for example, like this. Okay. So uh, at least they can um, imagine, okay, what is, what is uh, going on, okay. So just utilizing um, animation. Okay, all right. So that is about my uh, innovation, okay, in teaching. Okay, so uh, before I wrap up, uh, b b before I move on to the um, sharing session, uh, sorry, sharing, uh, experience sharing, okay, of applying uh, excellent teaching. Okay, so these are, um, uh, my achievement of a C test. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I know that C test is not a good indicator for uh, for, for our um, our, our, our teaching teaching uh, teaching achievement. Okay, but at least th th that's the only that's the only uh, indicator that we have. Okay, we don't have any other things. Uh, if you want to mention about uh, cost outcome uh, achievement. Okay, that, that is more towards the cost outcome. Okay, that, that's more towards the cost. Okay, but C test, I believe that it is the closest, uh, the most relevant uh, indicator at the moment, okay, to assess our teaching, the effectiveness of our uh, teaching. Okay, so I've never uh, failed to get more than, I never failed to get C test less than 4.3. Okay, um, and this is the, 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 the number shows the number of students Okay, uh, who responded okay, to the C-test. Okay, so although the numbers are quite huge, okay, um, uh, because I, I, I trust this uh, system, okay, because um, although the number of students is quite uh, large, okay, still the, uh, the score is quite uh, reasonable. Okay, so some of the um, Comments, okay. They have like to share. Okay, in fact, I have, in fact, I submitted this, okay, during my uh, application, okay, for the excellent uh, teaching um, application, okay, because uh, the application, 
also uh, requires uh, the the the, part, the, um, the applicant okay to submit okay to show the proof okay proof of the effectiveness of the teaching okay for example like uh, feedback from student uh, feedback from colleagues okay so i like um, okay i'll show some of the uh, comments okay um, so this guy okay um, wrote okay quite long long um, comments okay but it's all about it's all good comments okay but this student okay the main point is he really like the uh, demonstration in the lab okay so demonstration in the lab so it's not just a uh, lecture in the classroom okay but also uh, students like it uh, when i brought them to the lab okay and then uh, this student okay so interesting with real life examples okay so when students okay um, knows okay wh when the student knows um, what they are learning um, is related to real life okay so they will be they will feel more interesting interested and also uh, they will appreciate more about what they are learning okay and then also this student okay really like um, going to the lab okay and then the has on activity okay so students many students okay like like um, going to the lab and has on activity okay and this student also relate the topic with some practical examples okay so again when student um when my student okay uh, know the practical okay the, the, how uh, it is related to the uh, real world okay so they they are more interested with the cost okay and this student also provides very quick feedback okay so that, that's why um just now okay when i talk about my uh, relationship with student okay i always give a quick feedback to the student okay student appreciate it uh, so much okay when we give a uh, quick feedback uh, to them okay and then provide exercise okay this one okay nothing um, okay here this guy is also um, also like about uh, having has on activity in the computer computer room okay simulation uh, exercise okay in fact he said uh, i think this is must as electrical engineering student are not getting enough has on activity during degree okay and then okay well okay we are just there to study for exam not for learning knowledge okay but uh, when they take this course okay when i use uh, my those uh, delivery method okay that i've shown just now okay so student will feel more uh, will appreciate more okay so and, and this one practical activities Okay, so the last part um, before we go to Q&A session. Okay, so I would like to share my application experience. Okay, uh, UM Excellent Award. Okay, the first thing is um, actually um, I, I, I've, I've put the target okay, of winning at least one, one uh, Anugerah Cemerlang okay, in UM okay, in my entire, entire career at UM. So okay, so I've been targeting this uh, since um, I start started my career at UM. Okay, so previously I applied for uh, other categories. Okay, but um, was not successful. Okay, and then I tried. Uh, I, I keep trying. Okay, every not to say every year, maybe every uh, two years. Okay, so I keep trying. Okay, so I, I've set the target. Okay, to win. Okay, and then. Okay, so when it comes, okay, when when the first email about uh, uh, Angkor Chumla UM comes out, came out, okay, so quickly, okay, I quickly uh, look at the website, okay, and then, okay, there are many categories, okay, that can be uh, one, okay, so I look at the um, categories, okay, any categories, okay, when I pick. When I look at the category, okay, so I don't look at the, um, the the award, okay, the amount of the money they are offering, okay, because to me, I don't really care about 
uh, the money, okay, about um, how much that uh, UM provides, okay, but I, I care more about the uh, winning the award, okay, because uh, by winning the award, actually it gives me uh, personal satisfaction, okay, and it can also uh, enhance my uh, reputation, okay, so, so that is why I want to win this, okay, this um, award, okay, it's not about the uh, money. Okay, and then read the requirement. Okay, so step one, what I did uh, is I read the requirement of every category. Okay, so see whether I, I'm eligible uh, or not. Okay, look at the uh, requirement. Okay, and then once I have read out okay, all the uh, each of the uh, category, okay, so I filter out and choose one. Okay, so for the last year, I found that, okay, I was not... Um, qualified for this and then scroll down scroll further down okay i've checked the requirement okay and then i found that i'm only qualified for um penyidik muda cemlang okay so this is um excellent young researcher okay and excellent teaching science category okay so after giving a thought okay i look at the requirement again again and again uh, and then I feel that okay, which one uh, I, I'm more, uh, which one that I feel I have more chance okay of winning it, okay. So at the end, I choose excellent teaching, okay. So uh, of course uh, there, there's no uh, there's no restriction of how many uh, awards that we can apply apply for, okay. But uh, for me, it's better if I just focus on one of the awards. Okay, so then I um, decided okay, to choose excellent uh, teaching. Okay, but let's say if I'm not qualified, okay, I'm not qualified. So what I do is um, I want to win this category again next year and I will work on it uh, from now. Okay, so I read the requirement. Okay, so let's say if I'm not qualified for excellent teaching this year. Okay, so I, I look at the requirement, read the requirement again and see, figure out, okay, which requirement that I have not fulfilled yet, okay. So I try to fulfill uh, that requirement, okay, the one that I, I'm still lacking, okay, within one year, okay, then I, next year I will apply again. Okay, so this is the case uh, when I, I'm not qualified. Okay, but let's say if I'm qualified, okay, for teaching, excellent teaching, okay, so what, uh, needs to be uh, filled out, out is um, the teaching portfolio. Okay, so teaching portfolio means um, the, uh, it is more on, it's more about the course file. Okay, okay, uh, teaching portfolio, okay, is more like a course file. Okay, they want to see um, the planning from the planning stage uh, and then do, okay, execution, check, okay, and then act. Okay, um, those uh, is it, like a PDCA cycle. Okay, it, basically, it's a cost file. Okay, but we have to provide the uh, every of the item. Okay, and then later CV. Okay, as usual. Okay, proof of innovation. Okay, or creativity in teaching and learning. Okay, so uh, for this application, so I provided the one that I've uh, shared just now. Okay, the innovation, uh, the animation. Okay of the uh, the topics okay and then teaching philosophy okay so teaching philosophy uh, maximum 500 words okay it's about um, your yeah your, your teaching teaching uh, philosophy okay your teaching method okay so uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, resources online available okay uh, where some uh, academic staff okay so they share their teaching philosophy uh, online so I referred to some of them, okay, and that, that, that's, so I learned from their examples, okay, how to write the teaching philosophy. Okay, so teaching philosophy, um, I wrote in, in the national language. Okay, after that, okay, after submission, okay, then we do'a, okay, and who knows? Okay. And who knows? Okay, so uh, at the end, finally, okay, I receive uh, this award. 
Okay, so I am also uh, I'm very excited okay, to re to receive this uh, award. Okay, so um, I guess that's all. Okay, for the my presentation today. Okay, so thank you much, everyone. Okay, for listening, uh, for joining the session. Okay, all right, Dr. Haza. Thank you so much, Dr. Hasli. That was wonderful. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm applauding <laughs> silently from here. Thank you very much for the um, valuable, valuable sharing. The, the one I appreciate most is how similar your students um, respond about your class, where they don't care about the grades, they just care about the knowledge. And you respond about the award. You don't care about the the um, award you just you know what you're looking for is the personal satisfaction and the recognition so yeah you somehow similar with what your students are, are expressing so what we also learn uh, about is from in the in the terms of um, teaching philosophy not many of us know how to write that and um, I appreciate how you shared the process of applying for Ajum um, hopefully this becomes a an inspiration to us all that we can all at least try and, and at least now when we want to try we know what to put in you know so um, that's the process that we appreciate most um, I would like to open the floor for maybe one or two questions if there's any from the audience does anyone want to have a short conversation with Dr. Hasli before we end the session Good, yeah, of course, this will be shared on our ADEC uh, YouTube channel, so it will be there forever. So we can always refer to that. Um, all your tips and how you you know you merge the 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 practice in your class with the requirement of the university of the faculty in terms of the CO and how you match that. That's um, really useful for us to think about. So sometimes we only think of you know how to make the class interesting but not the, the formalities of it and somehow some of us we worry so much about the formality without and you 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 manage to blend these two uh, very very well and it it showcase in the um, students uh, satisfaction and students appreciation of of your your work so if there's any uh, let me just check if there's any other question or any comments from the floor all right. All right. So I would like to end the session by inviting everybody to switch on your camera if you can. Yes, Dr. Mustafa, we will share the presentation on our ADAC YouTube channel. Um, it will be there, inshallah, um, as soon as we are ready. But it will be there for many, 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 many years to come, inshallah. Thank you for uh, Dr. Nitya for. Um, Switching on your camera, I would like to invite. Yeah, see, Dr. Fakrul is. Yeah, we have a lot of sciences. Science people are like that. They're very quiet. <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe when this is a physical class, you have to have um, another dimension of it to get them to speak. So, yes. Hi, Dr. Hazli. Will I share screen? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Ah, kita nak letak gambar ramai-ramai nak take photo together. Okay. Anyone else wants to switch on your camera? Yeah. This is very science, people. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lau Kahin. Okay. Anyone else? Dr. Fakrul. Dr. Fakhrul is also our winner of Achum. We had our webinar last last week, last two weeks. Ah, uh, kan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, winner of Achum. Yang, yang juga. Sama lah dengan Dr. Hazli. Semua yang, yang dapat hadiah. Good. Okay. So, I think we are ready. Umu, whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. Just... One, one, two. Okay, hold on here. Okay. 
Okay, another one. One, two. Okay, thank you. Okay, with that, I would like to formally end the session. Thank you so, so much, Dr. Hazri, for sharing. I'm sure we are all silently appreciating you. <laughs> thank you for your time and thank you, everyone. Uh, have a good last 10 months of Ramadan. And I uh, hope it's not too early to say 